why did I just see the police leave this office? Nothing happened. Of course nothing happened. Why would you think something had happened? Or that we'd need legal representation sometime in the future. Totally unrelated. Did your cousin pass their bar exam this time? My only cousin is 14. Still studying then, gotcha. What did you do? It's quite insulting that James always assumes that any wrongdoing in these situations is my fault. Sometimes one is just a gentle butterfly, buffeted by the unfeeling storms of idiocy that surround you. Hey, look over there! Ow! Ah, forgot my ankle was sprained. It's okay, though. No need to help me. Wasn't planning on it. You know, if anybody is responsible for this mess, it's actually Nelson. Nelson? Wait, did you guys get arrested for playing magic? No, no, no. We got arrested because we couldn't play magic. That's true. It was a massive misunderstanding. Sure. I believe you. To be clear, I don't believe them. This whole thing happened because Cameron had the brilliant idea of convincing Yellow Jacket to run an unstable sealed league. This is literally the best idea you've ever had, Kathleen. I know, right? Yeah, I know unstable was meant for draft and not sealed. But sometimes when your customers are very enthusiastic and you want them to spend as little time in the store as possible, you bend the rules. Declare tax. Okay, I'm going to Bolt the Robo Constrictor with Super Duper Death Ray, and this card is sweet! Since when do you care about sweet cards? Since this card does four damage and it has trample, I can pave your puny 2 3 and deal the extra point of damage to your dome. That's extremely efficient. Well, I suppose if you evaluate cards based on their effect on the game state relative to their CMC, then yeah, it's okay. That is literally the only way you evaluate cards, Cameron. Did you know that I've invented my own special grip for holding magic cards? If, if you stack them up like this in your hand, the only thing that you see is the name and the CMC, which is the only information you should need. I suppose if what you're looking for is the ability to affect the board state and win the game, it's okay. I mean, it's a blunt instrument when there are more elegant solutions available. Is that why you don't play green? Are the creatures too good? A lot of people think I'm vegetarian because I love animals. I hate animals. They're gross. That's why I don't put them inside me. Or in my decks. Creatures? Ew. <laughs> anyway, second main, I cast and activate Kind Slaver. What? There's no one else around to control my turn. Huh. I would say what we experienced here was a string of good intentions that when taken in aggregate, maybe... I'm certain that I can trace the beginnings of this debacle back to 2009. That's when I moved here and met Kathleen. I'm not especially into playing limited, but because this weird sealed league is happening, I figured, why not? Also, there wasn't a pre-release, so Kathleen didn't trick us all into studying the set, so I'm going in completely blind. Alex has this thing with creature types? There's only one brushwag in all of Magic, which I'm sure you know. But did you know there's also only one Sable? He has a lot of concerns about snakes is the main thing I remember. It's been like four years. So we've just been waiting for him to open these packs. It's gonna blow his mind.
That's it? Yeah, what do you mean, that's it? That's your entire reaction to seeing these cards. I thought you weren't spoiled on this set. I'm not. I'm just seeing these for the first time. And? And what? Spider monkey scientist? Raccoon bird lizard? Turtle and or elephant? Is this some sort of code? Antelope wombat? Decoy octopus? Manatee parrot shark? What are you doing? Same as you! I'm so confused. The subtypes are unstable. Don't they blow your mind? No? Is that what you're yelling about? Why? Wait. You have issues with a snake hydra, but a deer, bird, ape, druid is no problem? Well, yeah. It says on this card, secret base, that they're created by a place called Crossbreed Labs. The watermarks all add up. It makes sense. Internal consistency is very important. So you've got no problems with the weird creature types in this set? None at all. Not even the augment host pairings like steam-powered kangaroo or half-kitten, half-octopus? Nope. Have you seen Hydra Doodle? Turns out that was a big mistake. Huge mistake. <laughs> His problem might just be with Hydras. <clears throat> um, can we take a moment of your time to speak to you about the good works of Kind Slaver? I mean, the works aren't that good. No, no thanks. <sighs> no. Ah, this isn't working! Well, maybe if you sounded more enthusiastic, you wouldn't be scaring people off. We're kind of going for a big ask. I think we need to offer people something for their time. I don't carry cash. I mean, who doesn't like candy? Aside from diabetics. And people on diets, and monsters. I don't particularly like candy. Hey! Do you want to play magic inside this van for like five minutes? We have candy. Is this a prank or something? It's super not funny. <laughs> Alex has been in the prop room for two hours now. Sobbing uncontrollably. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about his electrolytes. <laughs> Alex, we got you a sports drink. <laughs> There's lots of other cards in Unstable. Yeah, and most of them are traumatizing. Like, you remember Stormcrow? Uh huh. Well, well, there's a card called Crow Storm. It's like Stormcrow, but it has Storm. Stormcrow's the most busted card in magic. Why would you staple a busted mechanic to it? What's wrong with you? Well, we didn't make the cards, Alex. <laughs> oh, who did this to us? We've got to zero in on what matters most to Alex. Goblins. Hey, <laughs> what about a three-headed goblin? It's got triple strike. First, normal, and last. How, how big is it? It's a 3-3. Three, three. Well, I could just do nine damage out of nowhere? I thought this set was supposed to be funny. What's funny about eating nine to the face? Where's the joke? <laughs> I mean, I thought it was pretty funny. Your opponent's life total becomes the joke. Okay, okay. How about super duper death ray? I'm listening. Okay, it's a four damage burn spell that has trample. You mean you can flatten an X one and then pave their Jace? Yes. <gasps> that could see play in Canlander. Well, actually it has a silver border so it's not legal in Canlander. <laughs> Sometimes the best way to help people is to not help them at all. I don't think that's true. Well, that's what we did. Yeah, we're not good friends. <laughs> I got over it eventually. You know, time heals all wounds. Uh, how long have we been at this? Like, two hours? Uh, this sucks, it's raining and I'm cold. Why don't you just concede the game? You're the one who's about to get kind slavered. You concede. Absolutely not. I never give up. You literally just suggested that. No, I suggested you give up. There are many ways to win at magic, but I think the best one is simply 
not to lose. I'm a very high level strategic thinker like that. I always analyze every decision I make for any consequences and to follow it through to its logical conclusion. <gasps> Cameron, look, someone's coming. Why don't we just like jam the cards in his hand and then whatever happens, happens. Yeah, all right. Hey, buddy, can you help us out for a second? Don't um, worry, this isn't uh, going to hurt at all. Why would you say that? You're just going to make him nervous. The threat of physical injury makes people nervous. Well, no, I'm nervous. Ugh. Well, I hate my kids are that bad. When I started studying Kempo, I never expected I would actually use it. Yeah, that all adds up. Hey, if anything, I'm the real victim here. I never got to resolve my kind slaver. Yeah, we even asked the police and then just got mad salty at us. Apparently, committing an indictable offense to settle a game of Magic the Gathering is a waste of taxpayer resources. But now you're here, James! Yeah, you can settle this for us. We gotta get to game two! Ah, uh, fine. Show me your hands. Yay! Yay! Thank you, James! I concede. Woo! Suck it, Devere! Oh! My... So as it turns out, when you control someone else's turn during a game of magic, you don't get to just concede. So when James comes into the office tomorrow, we're getting a judge to give him a slow play warning. Oh.